is the thing that we go to MFA school for, which is like a series of studio classes, critique by our peers, a faculty member who's a little bit upset that their career never took off, so they're really mean <laughs> to the grad students, right? And there's this way in which the thing that we're taught in the MFA and sometimes in the MA or the MS is a kind of a professionalization around the possibility of making. Which is cool. <laughs> but rarely are we taught that in all of, you know, if, if the words that people use are reflexivity and, and, and self-evaluation and constant critique, that that thing gets limited some kind of way to like your fucked up sculptures. And it's never a way of imagining that the reflexive has something to do with something might, that might exist outside your studio. Like, is it possible that we could be reflexive about anything? Is it possible that we have the capacity, in fact, to transform anything? And that maybe the studio uh, critique, the studio practice, is simply um, the kind of preliminary uh, training ground by which we might transform the world. But they never give us that. It's like, it's like imagining that an athlete is only being trained to run up and down a basketball court. And that for the athletes, the football players at Iowa State when I was an undergrad, if they did anything off the field, they could lose their scholarship. So it was a way, like football was a way of keeping the strongest black cats uh, under control. And so you have football, you have basketball, you have the prison. You know, you, you, you know. And so like what happens when these cats are out of control, right? And it's like, but it's like all I know how to do is play football till I retire. And so I'll make some money, I'll invest it, in it. but it's like what if all of that power if, if, if a football player understood that, in fact, they were just being made ready for something bigger, that that strength was actually meant for something other than head-on collisions with another man for no reason, <laughs> right? And so I think that, that for me, art, there was a way in which something got in there that made me think, oh, this is not about clay. This is not about the painting. This is actually about a set of tactics that would allow me to be effective in the world. I don't know, I don't know where that came from, but it definitely didn't come from uh, a professor who was trying to teach me how to game out the art world, right? And so I think to, to us, uh, before getting to the bank, to us, I'm saying that your MFA is not about painting. And that whatever you think you're learning, um, uh, magnify that toward the real world and that the painting is an important space like it allows for the symbolic to happen and sometimes the symbolic like we can't release your friend your collaborator we can't release him but there are some things that we can do symbolically that if done may actually come closer to a kind of freedom if not a real freedom and so I think that that, that interruption of art is exciting. Mm -hmm.